They were in the streets before dawn, and the security forces were ready. Firing tear gas and live rounds at the young Iraqis determined to block the capital's main roads and bridges. We want a response to our demands, jobs, safety, to feel like real citizens. There are no jobs, no schools, no good education, nothing. When we graduate, we sit at home. Protesters worry their movement is being forgotten, eclipsed by soaring tension between Iraq's main benefactors, the United States and Iran. Last week, they gave the government until Monday to meet their demands. Early elections under a newly passed electoral law, an independent prime minister to replace Adel Abdel Mahdi, who resigned amid protests in November, and accountability for corruption. If the government fails to respond, they vow to escalate their actions, risking a deadly crackdown. Security forces must stop shooting at us. Look at who we are. Both sides are Iraqi. Why are you killing your brothers? Since the beginning of the movement in October, over 400 people have been killed and thousands of others injured.